Hello, this is Greg from Camnetics. I'd like to show you how the new assembly module works in GearTech. Uh, this will take a couple minutes, but it'll make it as quick as possible. So let's start by adding a spur gear to the assembly. And we'll accept the standard defaults. And now on the property grid on the left, you see we have the assembly position. Now if we want to see the, uh, the, the gear parameters, we can click this new swap button and the, uh, the gear data is shown here. So for example, if we want to change the number of teeth, we can do that here. Um, then um, let's add uh, another part by clicking on the, the uh, insert spur gear toolbar again and click accept and the assembly position shows up again so let's swap out to the, uh, the gear data and we'll change its number of teeth to well, let's try 28 and we can zoom in on that now over here in the assembly position you can see the details about how that spur gear is shown in the assembly for example the, the center distance And uh, oh, we can do other things here. We can add, um, say, some center distance extension by, by let's say, let's say we add in ten thousandths. So that gives us uh, ten thousandths of backlash in here, but it had to separate the uh, the gears by over thirteen thousandths. And what else can we do here? Um, we can flip the backlash to the other side. We can flip the line of action to go the other way if we need to. Oh. And then um, if we want to swap between the two gears, we can, we can go here and swap. But we also have a new button we can step through by clicking on this button up here. We can step through the different components in the assembly. So that's all I have for today. Thank you.